Democrats took the first step in charging Attorney General William Barr with contempt for failing to turn over the Mueller report and all related information. KCAU 9's Alexander Lamone has the latest details from Washington. The Trump administration has taken obstruction of Congress to new heights. Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee want to hold Attorney General William Barr in contempt of Congress for failing to turn over an unedited version of the Mueller report, plus all of the related evidence. Negotiations between the committee and Barr broke down Tuesday evening, and President Trump then issued an order to withhold all of the Mueller documents from Congress. California Congressman Eric Swalwell says it's too late for the president to claim executive privilege. It was waived by Don McGahn when he spilled the number of instances when Donald Trump obstructed justice. Republicans say it's too soon to charge the attorney general with contempt, and they say much of the additional information is secret grand jury testimony. But you can't be in contempt for failing to produce things that are illegal for you to produce. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says Democratic leaders had the chance to see a more complete version of the report. Not a single Democrat has even taken the time to go and look at it. But Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal says the rules made it pointless, as lawmakers were not allowed to discuss it or act on it. It means there is no oversight over the utilization of public power in the White House for personal gain. Jayapal says President Trump's threat to fight all congressional subpoenas will provoke a constitutional crisis. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.